today I'm going to show you a self leveling system so that you'll see the benefits and purposes of this leveling system. Completely eliminate all your leverage. Or, you know, maybe have a minimum of a 30 second, depending on your surface and what you're working with. So, no further ado, we will get to it. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to take this is self leveler the system this is just all these clips and uh so what the bags look like i got these at uh home depot and uh they're by lash so that's just how they work you have grouted i'm sorry you have your thing set on the wall and your tiles in place and you put your clip in your other clip in. Next, you put the next piece. Put it up against the wall. Put it up against the other tile, excuse me, on your wall. And then if you notice, we have this lip where there's a definite difference here where there's lippage. Horrible. Well, you take this and these also have little notches on them that lock it in place. So, this is the one that's down, so you, you push these in, and as the end result, it pulls it up. Well, you're now level, and it's a, you have no lipid as the end result. And these also work as a spacer, so you don't have to buy spacers. Now, these are 16th. They come in 32nd. Um, and maybe three sixteenths. I'm not. I don't know. But it, that's a good, good. You should be able to get it if you want that large of a gap. Um, so this is how this works. And uh, I'll show you the actual usage of them right now. Okay. Well, here's the actual leveling, leveling system. And how it looks and you can see like right here there is no gaps perfectly smooth level there's a little bit of lippage maybe a 64th right there I mean next down is almost zero okay so that's the physical application of what you're doing and how it looks this is on the vertical obviously this is your horizontal and um, that's what you want to do. And, and on both sides and here in this corner, you see, you just, that's how that looks in the corner. And then you come across to the center. There you have it there. Um, now, for the backsplash and the backsplash that has the joints in it. You will need these spacers and oh, because it wants to sag and twist, and it's just horrible. And this is what you have to do in order to get these the gaps in your in your band going across the shower, as you can see, all I've even used these sixteenth of an inch spacers here that go at the corners of the tile um, because there's just so many of these that you got to use so that it levels out because it wants to sag. These have a tendency to want to twist and roll sideways um, and it's just an ugly mess if you don't do this. And if you've run into this problem and you didn't know those of you that already know, you know exactly the problem and what I'm talking about because it's ugly. You feel like you just wasted money on buying it um, when you're learning. And so that's how you do it. Um, that is how. So here we go. Now I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to put these clips in. You can put them in. Here's one I took out right here. Now these again, they have these little, if I can get this in a 
viewer. There we go. You can see the notches, and they're on, they go in one direction. So as you push in, they obviously lock into place. That's how they're hold, held. Now, these are reusable. So if you do another bathroom and you buy these, you know, you have to buy these clips. Now, these clips are about 10 bucks, and these are about 10 bucks. So you're out 20 bucks to do this. Um, and I found that one bag in this shower, uh, which is... Oh, it's about a 5 by 24. It's my infant shower seat. Uh, and then I've got this ledger down here at the bottom. Instead of trying to fight with the floor and get it just right, I put this ledger up all the way around this wall so that I got it all leveled out. You know, yeah, I leveled off of my seat here with my level and then uh, ran these two by fours after I chalked a line or took a, a, a permanent marker and marked it. Um, and that's how you do that. Uh, so, all right, now to show you how we're going to put this in. And the best way I find, you can push it in with your thumb, This like this, or you can grab it, put both of your fingers underneath, and then take both your thumbs and push down on top. But if you want an easier way to be able to get more pressure, unless you have the tool, it's uh, they do make a tool for this that just locks on and just presses this down. But if you don't have that, you could use a chisel, um, pretty much anything that's hard and solid. I'm taking my drywall knife and you put this at the top up against the tile just so that you see it okay and then you take this and you just press down and if you need to use two fingers you know both thumbs again um you won't your thumbs have a tendency to get sore and uh if you're not used to it you know you're not gonna like it so just get something to put on top, put your finger underneath, put this on top here, and it'll you'll hear it lock right into place. And uh, maybe in some cases, you may want to just get the tool for it. But nonetheless, you don't have to have the tool, and I've done this without using any special tool at all. And you can see that these joints look really nice. Um, so there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask, feel free, and, uh, this will soon be done. That, uh, shampoo shelf is going to be really custom. I'll have to show you the end product of that. That's that's going to look really nice. All right. Well, God bless. Take care. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And uh, I, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. I don't care. Can't hurt my feelings. So God bless. Take care. And bye for now. And keep looking up.